up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats are with a banger educational reaction for you because our favorite YouTube teacher, in a nutshell, is back with a brand new video called This Black Hole Could Be Bigger Than the Universe. And the universe is big. So that's a pretty big black hole. Now, I don't know much about this stuff, and that's about to change. So before we get our learn on, can you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and chat? We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Educational time. We proudly present to you the Kurzgesagt Guide to Curiosity. Join us on an interactive adventure across 160 thrilling pages. Get your educational you on. You might be inside a black hole that's inside a black hole that's inside a black hole. Everything in existence could be black holes all the way down. Ah. It turns out black holes are much weirder than you think and they break the universe much more than is usually explained. I already think they're really weird. time and space. And they may actually create infinite universes in the process. But before well, we can get that, if you will. let's first build a black hole out of air. Everything can become a black hole Maybe. if you squeeze it to a critical limit. You'd need to squeeze Earth down to the size of a coin for it to turn into a black hole. The sun needs to be squeezed down to the size of a small city to become a black hole. Wow, bro. What? And if a lot of mass is concentrated in a really tiny space, you get something super dense. This is usually how black holes are explained. Stuff becomes super dense and collapses into a black hole. But actually, you don't need any ultra dense stuff to make them. We're ignoring some maths here, but all you really need to know is one thing. Mass. The larger black holes get, the less dense they are. So, really large black holes are kind of thin. Okay. A sun do mass much black hole is only about six crazy? kilometers wide and has a density of about one Himalayan range per cubic meter. Them the Himalayan supermassive ranges black hole at dangerous. the center of the Milky Way has a mass of four million suns, a diameter of 24 million kilometers, and a density of six blue whales per cubic meter. The ultra-massive black okay. hole Iris 2100-4156 has a mass huge. of 3.8 billion suns and is as wide as the solar system. Subs. But because it's so large, it is only as dense as air. This means, at least in theory, that if you take a gigantic balloon and fill it with under zillions of tons of air, the moment it gets to the size of a solar system, an event horizon suddenly forms and it turns into a supermassive black hole without what? violence or squeezing. So now, let's think big. What do we need to make a black hole the size of the universe? Y you need a universe sized the black hole. Balloon ever. The chunk of the universe that we can see from Earth is a sphere with a radius of 45 billion light years, filled with hundreds of billions of galaxies, lots of gas, I'm not and a smart bunch enough of other to things. comprehend what he's saying if right here, dude. That's so big. has the mass of about That's a million billion <laughs> billion suns, which sounds a lot, but on average, the universe is not very dense. If we break up all the galaxies, stars, gas, and energy, and spread them equally inside the volume of the universe, we get an average density of about five hydrogen atoms per cubic meter. You can imagine this as the sort I'm of ultra-thin cosmic air that makes up the universe. What would happen if we take a balloon as big as the observable universe and fill it with cosmic air? Well, it turns out that all the mass in the observable universe is more than enough to create a black hole. Actually, it's enough to make a black hole 10 times larger than the observable universe. But that can only mean one thing. We should be living deep inside a truly gargantuan, cosmic-sized black hole. There's Bro, one catch, what? though. We know that our universe is expanding, and an expanding universe is not what you'd expect to see if you were inside a black hole. Okay, so, so our universe not a black can't hole. be a black Check. hole, at least not in the naive way we've just described. Except there's a wild and mind-bending trick the universe could play on us. To find out how, let's jump into a black hole and die. A whole universe <laughs> no, born no. inside a black hole. We usually imagine black holes as spheres with a singularity at their center, a point where all their mass is concentrated so much that our maths breaks down. But this is a lie. 
they are so much weirder. From the outside, a black hole looks like a normal black sphere, but the inside is where things stop making sense. Black holes warp the universe so much that at the event horizon, space and time switch their roles. Inside a normal sphere, space is finite, but time goes on forever. But inside a black hole, it's the other way around. It whatever it space wants. goes on forever, but time is finite. So once inside, you see an infinite universe with no center. The geometry is too complicated, so we're simplifying. But basically, you could walk forever in one direction, or walk in another direction and arrive at the same place again. But not only that, inside a black hole, time is finite, and it's now running out. So after a while, you start to notice that space itself is slowly changing. In one direction, space is being stretched, while in all other directions, space is shrinking. Doing the whole there, universe there's is no being method to the madness in a black kind hole. Of turning into a collapsing spaghetti. Sooner or later, the whole black hole universe collapses into itself. All of space, every single part of it, is turning into a singularity. So the singularity <laughs> of the black that? hole is not Quickly at its lines. center or in any direction at all. It's in the future of whatever falls inside. We made a whole video about this if you want to learn more. Nuke the black so the singularity is not a place out. where you can go, it's an event in time that happens. Once it happens, you and everything else that fell inside the black hole will be mercilessly crushed into an infinitely small region with infinite gravity and infinite energy. Time, oh, space, none of it matters anymore. Both kind of stop existing in ways that we would recognize. And then, is this the end? Well, maybe not. This collapse of the black hole universe into a singularity looks like one of the scenarios for the end of our universe, the Big Crunch, where long after the Big Bang, the whole universe collapses into a singularity again. And then it becomes but a black if hole. there's a Big Crunch, there might be a big bounce, like a rubber ball that you've squeezed too much and that suddenly rebounds, space might expand again. A super black so hole? So a new universe could be born inside a black hole. The funny thing about this scenario is that nothing has changed in the slightest outside the black hole. Watching from the outside, it's still a black sphere of nothingness. And yet, on the inside, a new of universe has been born. In it. So maybe our universe was born like this, and we are all actually inside a black hole. But if our universe can also create black holes, they might give birth to new universes. Is our black hole universe also just part of a universe further up that's also a black hole inside another universe? Is there inside an of end another to it? inside of no Is it's there a one vicious original cycle. universe? Is the cosmos black holes inside black holes? Is it just one massive black, black holes? Hole? Infinite black hole universes. If the universe creates black holes that create universes, that then create new black holes that create new universes, this cosmic self-reproduction would be subject to natural selection. A Big Bang is a chaotic and messy event, so it's possible that the new daughter universes would not always be fully identical to their mums. Sometimes Mama. physics may be Mama. slightly different, with some fundamental values higher or lower, and so some universes might be able to create loads of stars, planets, and black holes. So Others might not. Just other, They'd be creating other universes, a uniform other cosmic multiverses. Suit where no stars, planets, Multiverse and black holes. Madness, if you will. But if all universes are born inside black holes, in the long run, all universe lines that don't create loads of black holes would die out. The oh. universes with the conditions for loads of black holes would become the I'm most common and spawn the most daughter universes. Tough. Survival of the fittest, but with universes instead of organisms. Our observable universe alone has created at least 10 to the power of 17 black holes so far. So maybe our universe has the physics and laws it has because it was born after a long process of cosmological selection that favored the production of tons of black holes. And that would have a lovely side effect. If universes are optimized to create as many new black hole universes as possible, they're optimized to create loads of galaxies and stars. And thereby also, by accident, the conditions for life to emerge. Yeah, baby, donut so Earth! universes that are the best at creating new universes are also the best at creating life. If this scenario is true, who knows how many bazillions of black hole universes might be out there, all with stars and planets potentially home to others like us. So, is our universe like this? The truth is not. we don't know. While these ideas are based on real science and work on paper, 
I hope speculative not. Speculative I don't want to be living in a black hole. Also, the cyclic universes don't actually explain why the universe exists in the first place or why it is the way it is. Instead of providing answers, these are really just new questions in disguise, so keep that in mind before getting too excited. But isn't it just wonderful and heartwarming that we're living in a universe where ideas as big as this one are even thinkable? There might be so much Great. life. So good. And if new universes are created constantly, maybe life will go on forever. I hope so. <laughs> We've heard rumors of a chosen okay. one. All right, it's time for the ad. All right, let me bring you in chat. Dude, I just, I don't know, I feel... I just feel so dumb when I watch these sometimes because again, it's just stuff that is tough for me to comprehend and understand talking about multiple black holes within infinite universes within infinite black holes. It's a lot of thinking, a lot of scientific knowledge that I am not quite there for, but I'm just fingers crossed that we're not in a black hole. That's what I take away from this. It could happen. I hope it didn't happen. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and chat. We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Solace Gang family. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, it's easy sleep and make beats. And as usual, come with another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Cuckoo. Come below for Solace Gang. Peace out, champ. Boom.